Hi everybody, this is Blossom and today we're going to talk about the next few in the Fofida, this time all about the honeysuckle or Ulenth or Ulianth, I'm not sure, as always, <laughs> I'm sorry. So the letter is UI and the animal associated with it is apparently mouse. So let's go into the law and legend. As with the others before, we do not find a honeysuckle of mentioned in old myth and folklore. However, it is said that in Scotland, village witches reportedly use woodbine or honeysuckle, woodbine is the other name for it. So those witches used it in magical healing rituals, passing the sick patient through a wreath of wood by nine times and then cutting it into nine pieces and burning it. Honeysuckle is also associated with courtship in Scotland, where young men would carry a stick of honeysuckle for good luck in love. It was also said to be good to draw good luck into the home and protect from malicious fairies. On the other hand, it is a well-beloved plant of the fairies, so there we have it again. So often what protects from fairies is also somehow a fairy plant. Uh, honeysuckle wines are extremely hardy and difficult to kill once established in the garden. This attribute, attribute contributes to the honeysuckle's meaning of devotion and lasting bonds. Erin Rowan Laurie associates this view with the elbow, and her meanings are flexibility, change and measurement. Other stories from Celtic folklore suggest that the honeysuckle has a role in sheltering and protecting. Now let's go to the magical uses. So it is said if you grow honeysuckle in your garden it will protect from evil. However, most varieties of honeysuckle are mildly toxic. While it's generally safe to consume the nectar and flowers, do not eat the berries or leaf. Honeysuckle is potential poisonous to dogs and other pets, so think about that. And then some varieties of honeysuckle are considered invasive and can threaten wildlife, so do your research before you would consider planting it. You can use it in sleep sachets to induce dreams of love and passion. It is also said that if you bring the flowers into the house, a wedding will follow within a year. You can burn a honeysuckle as an incense to attract prosperity and financial blessings. Otherwise, it is also mentioned that honeysuckle can help you to clear your mind and strengthen your psychic powers. You can also burn it as an incense to sharpen your intuition. It is also known as the love vines, symbolizing a lover's embrace in its clinging, growing habits. Honeysuckle is especially liked by the fairies and like the fae themselves, honeysuckle thrive in liminal spaces preferring fences and half shade. Honeysuckle is also used for all manner of sweetening spells. Its specialties are working to enhance love and sexuality. Honeysuckle flowers could also be used in spells designed to determine the true worth of a person or thing. And here's a spell from Llewellyn Spell a Day. Gather a few blossoms of the honeysuckle and a few green leaves. Carry them with you or tuck the flowers into a tiny vase and keep it in your home or at your desk at work. Here's the verse to enchant the flowers. Woodbine surround me with your grounding energy. Protect and guard my psychic sensitivity. By the sweet scent of the honeysuckles, blossoms and leaves, I am shielded from draining tactics and energy thieves. Allow the flowers to work their magic until they begin to fade. Then neatly return them to nature. Now, for the healing properties. So again, please remember that the berries of the honeysuckle are poisonous. And the plant is used to treat sore throats, colds, flu, tonsillitis, bronchitis, pneumonia, honeysuckle flower extracts are strongly active against several bacteria causing respiratory problems. But again, do its 
toxicity, other plants would be safer to use. So better as a vibrational essence, it can help those who feel that their best days are behind them and that there is little to look forward to. And as a consequence, they prefer to dwell on past happiness or past misfortunes. So in a more minor key, homesickness and nostalgia are also honeysuckle states. Nostalgia can arise due to loss of youth, health, beauty or the loss of a significant emotional relationship. The remedy helps us to learn from and recall the past without needing to re relive it so that we can progress into the present and take joy from today and tomorrow and becomes also capable of seeing possible sources of satisfaction in the present day to day life. Honeysuckle is also wonderful for opening the heart center and making us available to the unconditional love of divinity. Now for the last part, the divination meaning. Honeysuckle is the flower of unspoken desire, hidden needs, secrets, wants, but it also represents our goals of finding our true self. So if you get it in a reading, you are reminded to allow yourself the freedom to pursue your desire. If you've got hopes and or dreams that are untamed, now is the time to start considering whether they remain just dreams or become reality. Don't deny yourself the chance to enjoy life as long as you stay true to your values and your beliefs. We best learn with joy instead of denying ourselves the pleasure of life. It may also indicate that mysteries which seem to be hidden may not be as hard to delve into as you think. Maybe you are just distracted to see them and the background noise of your life is hindering you in your quest to find your true self. Now it is time to sort out what is truth. You may need to have a look at the influences of the subtle and seemingly insignificant messages that are surrounding you. Now, you, now could be a time where secrets will be revealed. You are able to recognize patterns and things may fall into place. Stay focused on your goals and you can reach your most hidden desires. So, and that's it already for the honeysuckle. I really hope this was, this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Much love and many blessings and bye-bye.